Good morning. Today's devotion is for March 13th, and yes, we're still on um, a series of devotions on the kingdom of heaven. And today we're looking at Matthew 25. Matthew 25 has three parables, and each of them is about the last day. The first one is the parable of the bridesmaids. Five of them are foolish and five of them are wise. And it says in Matthew 25, At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, took oil and jars along with their lamps. He says, at that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like. Well, at what time? At the end times. You see, Jesus controls the beginning of time and the end of time, and he's going to return again. And when he returns, he says, it's going to be like this. Everybody's going to look alike. Everybody's going to be looking alike. Everybody is, there's this group of people dressed and ready for the bridegroom. Five of them are foolish and five are wise. They all look the same, but five don't have oil for their lamp. What's the implication? The implication is they, they, they had no understanding of what they were doing and why they were doing it. Although they were there, they were in existence. They, they, they were, they were in the process. They even had lamps in their hands, but they had no oil to put in the lamps. And all of this is a dramatic picture that when Jesus comes again, he's not coming to judge the outside but the inside. He's coming to judge the hearts of mankind. Do you love me? Do you believe in me? Do you understand who I am and why I came? Some of the, the most vivid questions that Jesus ever asked were questions like, who do you say that I am? Well, some say you're this, and some say you're this, and some say you're this. Who do you say that I am? You see, the most important question that we can ever answer is, what is our answer to that question? Who is Jesus? And are we prepared to meet him? Are we prepared for his return? Are we just busying our lives, going around doing this and doing that and building homes and raising kids and raising money and paying off debt and doing this and doing that? And before you know it, all this stuff that we're living in is going to cease and there's going to be an eternal kingdom that we never paid attention to and we were never prepared for. Let's make sure that we have oil in our lamps. Let's make sure that from the inside out, we're prepared not only to live this life, but prepared for eternal life. Well, I pray that this devotion is a blessing to you. I encourage you to read the, the devotion that's attached and have a firmly rooted day.